so many people are talking about, oh, comedians, they don't have a right to be funny anymore. And then I watched the Dave Chappelle thing and I said, well, Dave got away with everything. Why? And people still watch his Netflix right. special. So what's with the complaint? I don't, I don't understand why you feel the need uh, to have uh, to apologize for a perspective that people don't all share. But he's unapologetic, oh, as was unapologetic. John Witherspoon, sure, who we sure. recently lost, one of your mentors. Sure. These were comedians who thrived. So why are others saying they are unable to just... Well, I, I think that we live in a society where we pretend that we should all feel the same way. And uh, I, I, Listen, if you don't dig what I say, I understand it. You don't, have to, you don't have to hear what I have to say. But that doesn't mean that I don't have the right to say it. I, I, why do I need a, 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 to apologize or to make excuse or ask permission to have a thought that's divulging from the group? I don't think I need to. Do and you... I think that, the, that those things have always appealed to the comedians I love and respect, that there's a certain kind of mindset that they have that is unflinching. What is your most fond memory about John? Um, John, uh, so I, he, he was actually on my show about four days before he passed, right? So that's... Uh, that's a reason and, to... and so the best thing about it, it was that we got to drink together and laugh, ah. and he was strong and healthy. And then, it, this is sad to say, but he died with gigs on the books. So he died with people still wanting to see what he did. And he died, um, and he didn't suffer. Like, my old man uh, withering away in hospice, hospice care. That dude died without suffering. I mean, obviously, it's, no one wants to go, but if you're going to go, I'd rather uh, burn out than fade away. And I think he died with gigs on the books. But my fondest memory of him is I never liked to go out. And so he would have, the, him and his wife, Angela, would have these functions. So we would go over, and they would be in there yeah. planning a playhouse for Pasadena, and we'd be in his... Um, and his, uh, his, the other house he bought, drinking good wine. Like, he had good wine. <laughs> but he didn't let everybody have it. It was just me. You got the special wine? Oh, yeah. That happened to me and Patti LaBelle. Absolutely. I was at Patti LaBelle's house, and she's like, come here for a second. Right. And gave me the wine different from right. everybody yeah, else. That's what they do. That's how you know you've been anointed. Yep. yep. Okay. Real quick, uh, we, we both love hats. Yep. That's oh, our passion. Yeah. Yeah. DL and I are obsessed yeah. with hats. He always yeah. tries to steal my hats yes. from me. Yes, yes. So today, I hear you're going to repay all the times you've tried to swipe my hat. I have a dope-ass hat. Hat line is me. Well, okay, and, uh, it's your hat line. My hat line, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. And this one you bought especially for yes, me. Yes, ma'am. That's fly. All right. That's fly. <laughs> Wait a minute. I have this is not my hat. Let my me hat is a melon. It used to fit your head when you was on NBC, but now. <laughs> Sure to catch DL headlining at the Paramount Theater in Oakland, California, November 30th. I gotta go check that show out. Uh, meanwhile, this is terrible. It is huge. I feel like like um, Pharrell. Up next, <laughs> tonight you got me acting bad.